welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2. This is King Joffrey's righteous rule, and we are ruling with we are ruling with King Joffrey's daughter, princess. Well, now Queen Ashara of the Iron Throne, spawn of the lion and the dragon. Well, the lion, stag, and dragon. She's the triumvirate of the new Iron Throne. Last time, I think. Because she, oh, she's only 17, so I think last episode, her, did her regency end? I'm not really sure. Maybe not. Maybe it didn't. I think I've just completely forgotten an entire episode that I recorded, so that's pretty embarrassing. But where we're at right now is we're currently plotting to kill Lady Sabella of Kingsgate. And the reason we're doing that is because she has my dragon. And my dragon's egg. And so what we're going to do is we're going to kill her. 324% chance there sh this should be an unmissable opportunity to kill her in the dungeons of Nath. Queen Ashara has already proven herself to be quite the, uh, quite the, what would you call, what would you call her? Quite the, uh, well, intrigue-oriented character. Even though she's a brilliant commander. She's a brilliant commander. Quite the jack of all trades here. She's trying to become exalted exalted by men, which shouldn't be that difficult to do. She's got a very beautiful husband, and they've already had a child, Prince Brian McClure, the future of the Iron Throne. In theory. In theory. Now then, let us look and see. Oh. Okay. So we've got the ever-loyal Lord Paramount Lancel of the Westerlands, supported by Prince Doran the Cunning, Lord Paramount Horos the Tormentor, the High Septon, and they form the Crown Loyalist Faction of 67,000 men. Lady Paramount Shireen wants herself on the throne. Uh, Lord Paramount Theon the Bewitched, alongside Lord Paramount Edmure the Absurper, want a lower crown authority, and... Theon and Edmure and Nana the Rash are trying to form an independence faction. So if they declare if they declare independence, that's gonna be that's gonna be the Riverlands in the North and the Iron Isles are all gonna break away. If you guys remember, Lord Edmure usurped our family our family friendly what would you yes, House Morgan. Old allies. Edmure the Usurper, I promised you, I promised you. Ooh, he'll even excommunicate. Well, he is a lunatic and he has gonorrhea. I think it would make sense to excommunicate him. Do it. Excommunicate our enemies. Well, his one daughter was pretty attractive there. Lady Paramount Lysa of the Veil. Vale. Lord Paramount Dorden of the Veil. Vale. Ah, oh, very nice. Offer non-aggression pact. No. I think he intends on attacking the Iron Throne. So it seems. So it seems. Let's see. Can I request... Uh, oh, no. You can't request excommunication because she is a follower of uh, the Old Gods. Brienne of, Brienne of Tarth is doing good work. The Septon has agreed to excommunicate the Usurper. Let's see his rule last now. Lord Norrin, my co-conspirator, tells me that a man is now on the inside of the prison where Lady Debella sits. He will arrange an escape attempt in which one of the prisoners will sadly suffer a tragic and very fatal accident. No one will expect foul play on our part. What is this? Invite to plot. We would like you to back our plot to rescue. No! No. I decline, sir. I decline. Let's see, how much money are we making? Uh, not as much as I'd like. Oh, she's picking the theology focus. Ah, she's trying to better herself. She's trying to make herself into a better ruler. Marry as you please. I'll find you somebody nice. And we'll find the oldest person in court. Success! Lady Sabella was killed while attempting to escape from prison. No fingers will be pointed my way. Sentence commuted. Ha 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 ha. Ashara received a beautiful new Drogon's dragon egg. We inherited the egg. They sent it back to us. Excellent. Excellent. And Drogon's going crazy in King's Landing. Let's see. Apparently we're being sieged by something. Marshal recruits disposing of wildfire. Yes, we're getting rid of that. Peasants complain about the arbitrary steward. Yes. All right, well, I don't see any problem with... Uh... 
Ah. Okay. Interesting. Now then. Attempt to hatch the egg. Kill Lady Sabella. That's no longer required. Show me the dragons. Where is... Drogon is located in King's Landing. We're located in King's Landing, are we not? Reigning in King's Landing, yes. Um, I think Drogon might be... Is he, he's playful times 1.3%. Um, hmm. Locked in the Dragon Pit. Oh, what does that do? This dragon is chained up in the Dragon Pit where it can do no harm. Taming chance times 5. Hatching chance times 5. Usually prevents dragons from flying away to Dragonstone upon their owner's death. Ooh. Should Sabella... Not Sabella. God damn it! That's the woman who stole our dragon! Should Queen Ashara risk everything and attempt to tame Drogon, her half-brother? Drogon might eat her, in all honesty. What, um... Heart eater. Oh, oh yes, we have Red Rain. Yes, someone... Oh, before I do that, before I do that, get this out of here. Somebody told me in the comment section that we should reward Gaillard's son, Lord Eric, with Valyrian Steel. And I agree. We, have, we, we even have Valyrian Steel armor. That's awesome. We will give... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What sword are we wielding right now? We're probably wielding Heart Eater, right? Heart Eater is the name... Yes, it's the sword of our father. Okay. Um, can we wear this? I can wear this. Ah, now I wear Valyrian Steel. Excellent. So we, we can give... No, god damn it. Lord Eric of Blackwater Rush, the son of Gaillard, we will grant him Red Rain in honor of his father's service. We hereby give Red Rain to House Morgan. Excellent. Now then, let's see. We wear we we wield Heart Eater. We're a teenager, but we're deceitful, and we have Valyrian steel armor. We don't have the best combat skill, but for a female who's a queen and has no training in fighting. That's pretty fucking good. 35 is actually pretty decent. If she could get poor fighter or anything like that, she would be a pretty awesome duelist. But now, now is the moment of truth. And I don't know how wise this is, because our heir is only zero years old. But I really, really, really want to see if we can tame Drogon. If it's even possible. Oh, man. Face the dragon in his lair. We're not going... No, we're not going to... Now, see, if we attempted to hatch an egg, I know for a fact that dragon would be easy for us to... Um, what is it? Um, what the hell am I trying to say? It'd be a lot easier to tame it. It would be for all... It would be for all intents and purposes Queen Ashara's dragon. Like, she would birth it. In a weird sense. In a weird sense. Let's see. Queen Ashara must have at least one piece of intelligence on dragon lore obtained by visiting places of dragon lore significance. So this is what I was talking about. This whole, like, we'll go to the Black Wall, and then we'll go to Old Geese, because that's another place for it. I thought there was a place around here. Oh, the Smoking Sea. That's definitely one of them. Can't really go to anywhere here. And I think it was... We have boats over here. Ah, interesting. Disband them. And a shy, I think. You'd have to go if you want to learn about the dragons and maybe hatch our dragon egg. Ooh. I think if we hatch the dragon egg, there would be there would be Or we could give the dragon egg to Brian. And leave that to him. Ooh shit. This is hard. Disinherit Brian Mc... Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, can we change his... No. Fuck. Damn it! I want to change his childhood focus. It is his childhood focus, right? Yes, I want to change it to faith, but I can't for some fucking reason. Oh, because I'm... We're of the same faith. We need to have Brian McClure be 
guardianed by his father, Amon. Where is Amon? You're gonna make me fucking look him up. Uh, okay. Amon, you will be the guardian of... Of your son, goddammit. Not me. Why would you be the guardian for me? I don't... G oh, he's not even an adult yet. That's why. Gotcha. All right. To the confident queen, I accept this. Uh, while in King's Landing, you visit Dragon Pit, where once the beasts of old Valyria were bred. The great pits and crumbling walls fill your mind with fantasies. If only the dragons still lived. What if there's still life in these old stones after all? Uh... Okay. That's kind of a... That's kind of odd. <laughs> Attempt the... Oh! We just got some dragon egg knowledge. We just got some knowledge. Mmm. Damn, this is quite the... This is quite the difficult choice. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to... Let's... 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 Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna raise all my levies. I don't need all my levies. I need, um... I need a small amount of men. Just a small amount. Let's put you up. Yes. And Queen Ashara will lead this group here. Actually, you stay here. Where are my ships? We'll have Shara get on the boats. The Chief Wisdom of the King's Landing Alchemist Guild informs you that they have finished disposing of the oldest and most unstable wildfire pots. The current stockpile should be much safer. Disposing of wildfire from a huge stockpile will be moved down to large. Well, we're going to need more than that. One evening, you are examining your dragon egg, and you are almost sure that it is emitting heat. Perhaps it is responding to my touch, and it will soon reveal its secret. I will reveal it. Queen Ashara is the blood of the dragon, and she will have them. I mean, she can already probably tame Drogon, but I don't know. I just think I just think it would be more prudent to bring another dragon into this world. Because it was Viserion that got killed, right? Because there's Drogon, Rhaegal, and an egg right now. I think Ashara has what it takes to bring another dragon into this world. And it would be a worthwhile endeavor. And it would belong to her and her alone. It would be her child, I think. I'm not sure, but we'll see. But first I need to disband all this, otherwise my vassals will get all upset. That's everybody, right? It should be everybody but 180 men. All right. We sail abroad. We leave King's Landing. And we go to the Black Wall in Volantis. And then we'll go to Old Geese. Um, there's some other places, but I forget where they're at. You know what? Is there a way I can look up the morale? If I can look up the... Oh, I can't. If you could look up the religion for the Valyrians, they would tell you where all the secret places are. Shit. We need to conquer Illyria again and convert to um, the High Valyrian religion. That's what we need to do. Always. All right. All right, we got to go up the river a little bit. And then we'll... Uh, okay, great. Don't really care. Drop us off in Old Volantis. Amon of Essos tried to catch the dragon Drogon and failed. <laughs> and now he lost a hand! You fool! Amon, you're only 15! I mean, I get that he's... Holy shit. Amon is culturally High Valyrian. Look at that taming chance. 3,000%. And still, Drogon deemed him unworthy and took his hand. That could have been us, ladies and gentlemen. That could have been Queen Ashara. But luckily, Queen Ashara has got kind of a brain. So she just said, fuck that. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not dealing with that. All right. Then we just need to chill here in Old Volantis for a little bit, I think. We're in command, right? Are we wearing, like, cool armor? Nah. Ah, here it is. Behind the black wall of old Volantis dwells some of the few remaining nobles of Valyrian blood. You talk and feast with many of them, trying to extract as much knowledge and tales of the dragons of the Freehold as you can in an effort to understand how they were bred. Hopefully it shall be useful. 
Excellent. It all comes together. It all comes together. Let's see, is, uh... Lord Paramount Lancel is keeping the Crown Loyalist faction in check. We will be eternally grateful to you, Lancel. Lancel Lannister. Grant a royal privilege. Hmm. Would we'll decrease our standing in the realm. I might grant him a royal privilege because he seems... He's been worthy. He's been worthy so far. Unlike, you know, unlike the Lancel portrayed in the HBO series, he's not really worthy in, in that one, but, uh... But, we... Ooh. For a long time... For a long while now, you have not felt the presence of the warrior in your thoughts. You're starting to ponder... Oh, did we pick the warrior? No, we're dedicated to the father. Interesting. Uh, you're starting to wonder whether there really is any truth in Seven Point Star, or perhaps is just an old book written by clever liars. I don't really want to become a cynical. His blasphemous feelings will soon pass. Perish these blasphemous thoughts. We can't become zealous, though, because if we become zealous, we won't be able to convert to any other religion. And I don't really like the faith of the Seven. The faith of the Seven is weak. They are weak. Maybe I should have become cynical. But cynical is a bad trait to have. I don't like that trait. Wait a minute. Let's... Uh, uh, um. Ooh, shit. Okay, let's go to Old Geese, and then we'll drop off at a shy, and we'll round the trip out by stopping in the Smoking Sea. I'm sure I've talked about this in the comment section of videos before, but the Smoking Sea is like a... It's a... It's like a loaded revolver. It's... it's you don't really know what you're going to get, and the shit can get pretty fucking terrible. You can get crazy. I, I've had times where I've gone into the Smoking Sea, just randomly had people sit in the Smoking Sea, characters of mine, and they encounter dragons and shit, and krakens, and stone men. You've arrived at the fields of Old Geese, the place where the Fervalyrian freehold of old smashed the Giscari Empire with its dragons, raising Old Geese to the ground. The fields were sowed with salt, sulfur, and skulls, and even today the land is barren. Kings and emperors will fear me also. Mm. Queen Ashara's ambitions. She's not an ambitious person, though, but her ambitions could rival that of her own mother. Her Permont Dorden has formed an alliance with Lancel. All right, I trust that alliance. I'm not too concerned about it. Now, I think, I think, I think, I think... Ooh, okay, I don't care about that. I think Ashai is a place where we need to go. I'm not exactly positive. Has built a lair after escaping from Talia. All right, and she has lost an eye. All right. I've always wanted to colonize the island of Marahai. These motherfuckers keep trying to, and she got eaten. Yep. We've got some power mad courtiers who keep trying to tame Drogon, and they keep failing. I've always wanted to colonize Marahai here, and the reason that is is because I probably talked about this too. Is it's got volcanoes? Or it should have volcanoes. Volcanic activity. Dragons located in this province thrive in the heat of volcanoes, given the following effects. Uh, size, plus 1.5, and life expectancy, plus 1.33. Let's hop on over to Dragonstone and see if that's better or worse than Dragonstone. Dragonmont. Oh, it's the same. It's the same. All right, so. Um, once I get dragons, though, I do want to move the capital here. Which I don't seem to be able to do. Oh, because I don't own it. God damn it. Of course I don't. Apparently winter is coming. Not that I'm really worried about that. Your husband, King Amon of Essos, has died. Succumbing to his injuries. He attempted to tame the dragon. And he was promptly eaten. Just a small funeral. He was a fool of a man. He was a beautiful fool. Aw, oh, apparently Queen Ashara really liked him. Because now she's widowed. Well, we know ways of getting around that. And, and we will. We will have to. Hmm. Lose yourself in book, song, and wisdom with others. Don't really want... Ooh, becomes a scholar, mystic, or poet. Hmm. Yeah, but there's also a chance she gets content and patient. I don't like that. I don't like that shit at all. This is better. This is better. We'll pick this one. I know that I'm great, and I deserve respect. I've gained the proud trait. Excellent. Although the theology focus will, will will change that, but um, hey, you know, that was a pretty good outcome. Uh, I cannot believe 
it, dearest Amon, my resolute charmer. You are gone from this world, and we will seek, seek, we will go to his grave. And we find the lover's memento, and we get more health for it. Sweet. We will need it. All right, I'm not sure if this is really where we need to go. But, mm -hmm. Ah, the ancient city of Ashai is famed for its knowledge of the arcane, and some say dragons still live in the mountains of the Shadowlands. You speak with as many mages as you can about dragon lore. Hopefully it will be useful. Awesome. Now then, let's round out our travels by going to the smoking sea of old Valyria and pray to all the gods that we don't get eaten by krakens. It is a dangerous trip learning all about the dragons, but it is necessary. Um, Jonquil Martell still has not married. I think somebody told me what to do with her, but I already forgot. We need a new king. Who will be our new king? Mm. It doesn't seem many people want to marry Queen Ashara matrilinearly. Hmm. I'm not sure what um what we can do. Let's look through here. Here, let's get the timer going while we do this shit. Married, no. Diplomatic range, yes. Uh, join court, I don't really care. Maybe we can find some genius men. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of want my own culture group. I don't really want these other cultures, my culture group. Let's do it by age. We'll get a young guy, young fella. All right, we're heading into Valyria. But we can see there actually are some people. There's Clifford Withers. He is a genius. He's kind of ugly, though. Jack is kind of ugly. He's kind of ugly. Um, if we're willing to wait six years, we could have, uh... He's not that bad looking, but he is, he is kind of a known murderer, so that's not really... It's not really ideal. Not really ideal. Let's see. Ashara is attractive. Do we want our children to stay to stay attractive, or do we want them to be geniuses? Geniuses would make their uh, rules much better. Dragon taming chance plus 200%. Oh, that'd be good. Hmm... I love this song. Um, shit, what are we gonna do? Daemon, Spymaster, Graves, Ham. You're ugly! You're all ugly. But you're geniuses. And we may have... We may have to pick... Let's pick the Stormlander. He may not even marry us. No, unlikely to have children. Who's unlikely to have children? Oh, it's because she's chaste. Oh, shit. That's not good. That could hurt her chances. Unlikely to have ch children, yes. All right, we need to change this to seduction. We can't because she's chaste. Son of a bitch. Amon curses us from the afterlife. That's really not good. That's not ideal. Now then, let's go to the smoking sea. You know what? Oh, we can't do that. Can't do that. We might... Does not have the chase, the trait chaste. God damn it! Chaste is the... W oh, you know what, though? You know what? Theology actually fixes chaste. It does. If you can get the little, um, religious event... You can actually reform chaste and actually become lustful, so that's pretty useful. So we'll have to rely on that. I don't know what's going to happen with us sitting here in the smoke. Oh, oh, oh. You have braved the smoking sea, where many ships have gone and not ha have gone and not come back. You have seen for yourself great fires that had ripped old Valyria asunder and vanquished most of their dragons. Maybe if I could replicate such intense heat. Ooh. We have survived the Smoking Sea. I don't think you get anything for going into the Valyrian Straits. I don't think you get anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to return to King's Landing, and we're going to hatch this goddamn egg before this episode ends. And if that fails, um, I think then we can attempt to tame Drogon. Maybe Drogon is killing all these people who are trying to, t to tame him because he's waiting for Queen Ashara. 
Maybe. Or Drogon just hates everybody and wants to... Wants to just eat everybody. Who flippin' knows? Independence. Crown Loyalists. Alright, we have returned! It has been quite the journey. But in a year... Queen Ashara believes she has all the knowledge she needs to attempt to hatch the dragon egg. Mm. You have your egg and the pyre prepared, ready to light a flame and attempt the hatching. Actually, this is too dangerous. Note, this is a very dangerous event which is not to be taken lightly. The less knowledge you gathered about dragons, the more likely the hatching will fail. Failure could mean the death of you or family members. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, you guys saw, we went to four fucking places, and we, we went to four places. Right? We went to four places. We went to four places, and we were in King's Landing, too, so that makes five. So that's five places we, we've gone where we've gained knowledge on dragon eggs. And the egg is emanating heat, as in, like, saying, hey, look, we're ready to hatch now. And plus, Queen Ashara is the blood of the dragon. She's gonna die, <laughs> she's gonna fucking die, and we're gonna have a regency with Brian McClure, who is goddamn one years old. We need to pick a regent. Ooh, Lancel. Lancel would be a good regent, so, you know, assuming he survives. <sighs> okay. Here goes nothing. Cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Oh, we're not... Oh, no! No! <laughs> oh, God. It's called the Tragedy of King's Landing. What madness lets you think you could hatch a dragon? You failed, and you will have to pay the price. 20% chance she dies. 50% chance she's depressed. 15% chance she's maimed. This is bad. This is bad. All roads lead to death here. The... The best option we can get coming out of this is that she's just depressed. Oh man, this is bad. This could be the end of Queen Ashara. Ah. Oh. We went to five places. What else were we supposed to do? Oh. Oh man. <laughs> it seems the gods have been looking out for Queen Ashara. Whoo! The land is consumed by dragon fire, and Queen Ashara Lannister of the Iron Throne is responsible for this. What did I? Do? I don't un wait. Wait. So, are you telling me we attempted to hatch this egg and it just blew up like wildfire? Jesus. But she is insanely lucky that she got out of there with his with her life. King's Landing exploded and is now burning, and all she has to show for it is she's depressed. Damn. Yeah, I um. I don't think she's be able. She's gonna be able to tame any dragons. She couldn't. Uh, she couldn't hatch an egg. And almost blew up King's Landing in the process. Yeah, I don't I don't think this is this is not good, ladies and gentlemen. This is not not a good indicator. I don't think Queen Ashara is going to be able to um Okay. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh not good. Let's see. Can't attack you because we oh, yeah, must have a valid cast his belly. Yep. Your Grace, I humbly ask you to intervene on behalf against the aggression of Paramount Lannister. The Paramount Lance Lannister. I don't care. I like Lance Lannister. If he wants to take you over, that's fine by me. What is he doing? Attacking in Westerlander, Casterly Rock does your war over Casterly Rock. He's trying to take Casterly Rock. All right, that's fine. He's got a lot of armies. Damn. I cannot believe that happened. That's insane. Maximum attrition is up. The local tax modifier down. Has inherited something. We've inherited land from somebody. Not good. 
That is the city of King's Landing. We... I don't think we can hold on to this. Is this the wrong holding type? I th thought it would be the wrong holding type. But for some... Holder is the wrong holding type. Yeah. So let's just create a new vassal. There we go. Mmm. Not good. I could go for the... T I, I could face the dragon. We could face the dragon. I mean... Here, let's... 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 <laughs> This is such a bad idea. <laughs> no, we have to refrain. We have to refrain from doing it. It's the, the, the time is not now. The time is not now. The music is really goading me on, but I'm not going to do it because Queen Ashar has, only, has already escaped with her life in one episode. I'd like to see her continue living. I would have her live. All right. And let's uh, lose 100 gold and dispose of more wildfire. And let's build something quickly before we end the episode. Castle Town looks good. We'll build a Castle Town in King's Landing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the episode. That's the end of the episode. Queen Ashara lost her husband and almost lost her own life in her mad pursuit for the dragon fire. But I don't think that would deter her. I really don't think it will. I think she is of the. Hmm. I think she will continue again, but I don't think it'll be... I don't think it will be for quite some time. Now, did the dragon egg get destroyed? It did. It it just completely blew up. So, she lost... She, she fucked that up. I mean, I thought she had it in the bag. I thought she had this... In, I, I, I thought she was going to do it. But it looks like she's going to have to turn her attentions towards taming a living dragon. Um, which might be even more dangerous. But before we can do that, there's a lot of traits we have to get rid of. Depressed is one of them... Um, I think we need to have a good personal fighter skill. Maybe. I'm not really sure. Like, train fighter or something like that. To be able to, um, tame... Dra I, I'll do a little bit of research. I'll figure out what exactly... What traits do we need. Authoritative helps. But, you know, things like ambitious and stuff probably would help too. But all that will have to happen in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been King Joffrey's daughter, Queen Ashara. I have been the Golden Joblivian, and until next time, I will see you all later.